Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out a ALPR system um, for 5M. What this is, is it like reads the license plates of vehicles and everything. What I really, really like about this one is you can actually add plates to the system and depending on where you are in the world, it will alert the players who have a permission. Um, it does support ACE permissions. I don't, I won't go through the setup of that in this video. Um, I do have plans for something like that in the future, but we're just gonna go over the resource uh, for ALPR in this video. So. Let's see what in the world and where in the world all the cameras are. So they include these nice little screenshots that show where all the cameras are in the world. So if a car that has a plate that matches the ALPR system drives through one of these areas, it will obviously alert the people who have the ACE permission for that. Um, so it can be used in circumstances for role play where you want to put a bolo out on a vehicle and it can pop up when they go through one of these locations. So it just works out quite well very very easy to install and everything so all we have to do is actually go to the github link you can go ahead and click it directly from the plugin or the resource page and you can go ahead go to the top where you see releases so releases is just an easy way to download everything so you can go ahead and click source code um, where it says zip file and open this up with winzip 7zip winrar whatever you use to open these files up and what you're going to do is in here you're going to see it has a client config server and inside of each of these are all the files that um, actually run things we'll go through the configure file in a moment but we're going to go to our server data resources folder. If you are on a host, it's probably in your FTP file access. If you are using TX admin, it's probably in your TX data folder. And wherever you have all your resources, you're just going to go ahead and drag this overall folder into um, the resources. And then if you go in here and go to your config, you can go ahead and edit this with notepad or notepad plus plus. And you can actually see um, the configure file once it opens in terms of... Um, all the things that are configurable. So should you use um, no perms? If you do want perms, what perm should it use? Uh, should you have the camera blips on the map? Should you have the chat prefix? What should be the notification type? Should it log everything, etc., etc.? And then inside of your cameras.lula file, if we go ahead and edit this as well, you can see all the locations of the cameras and you can add more if you want or whatever else you want to do here. You can remove them, add them, whatever you want to do. So very, very configurable and stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click the folder. We're going to click rename. We're going to right click once more and click copy. We're not actually going to rename anything. We're going to go to the server data and edit um, our server.cfg file. If you are on Zap, posting you have to do this through their panel tx admin has a panel for it or you can do it in the tx data folder whatever you want to do add insure um and then the name of that folder we just copied um and you can see this is either going to be insure or start just type whatever you have there and if you double click your start.bat file it will go ahead and start up it also could be your fx server.exe file or just press start on your thing and as long as you say it uh start up here you know you are good to go so let's hop in game all right, so we are in game here, and if I go ahead and open up the map, you can see all the cameras around the city, which is terrific. So we know it is working correctly and all of that. You can obviously do slash add plate, um, just like this. So like two W's, five, four, two, five. It will error just because um, I have the permissions enabled and I actually don't have uh, ACE permissions on here. Um, but obviously, if you have any issues with it, just make sure to ask the author over on um, their support. Uh, thread and they'll be able to probably help you out so thank you so much for hanging out with me today hopefully this did help you install this resource i will be back in two days again i do apologize for no video yesterday i will see you all soon goodbye